Hiya. I'd like to talk about this book today, Lost Magic, the very best of Brian Moses. Brian Moses is a brilliant poet and a brilliant performer too. I first came across his work by listening to him perform a poem on, 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 on the internet and walking with my iguana and there was drums and percussion and everything and I was hooked. So I checked out his, his other work and, and came across this book, Lost Magic. It's great. There's a real range of poems in there, from those that are going to be immediately accessible to younger children, to slightly more challenging ones, more thoughtful ones for, for older kids. Um, some of them are funny, laugh out loud funny. Some of them are, have, have a historical sort of uh, focus, Second World War, or, or, or further back indeed. Others um, just capture moments in a child's life uh, really beautifully, make us focus. On a, on, on a single experience that we might as adults overlook but perhaps for a child is really really uh, important and, and fascinating. I'm just going to quickly read you a couple of poems which I, I've done with my year three class. Uh, the first one is Shopping Trolley. Shopping trolley, scoop down the aisles in my shopping trolley. I could go for miles in my shopping trolley. Never say excuse me, never say please, ram it in the back of someone's knees. You really won't believe your eyes. My shopping trolley's been customised. It's got bull bars, radio controls, engine in the back and it purrs like a rolls. It's got a Volvo chassis, a velvet seat and around the store it can't be beat. It does somersaults, it big back flips, roly polies and wheelie dips. It does over 70 miles per hour, flashing past in the burst of power. Scoop down the aisles in my shopping trolley. I could go for miles in my shopping trolley. Never say excuse me, never say please. Ram it in the back of someone's knees. Fabulous. And we, I, when we did this, all the kids were designing their own shopping trolleys and souping them up and making them into these kind of wonderful machines. The other one I would like to read um, just now is uh, Aliens Stole My Underpants. And a poem about aliens, good. A poem about underpants, good. A poem about both, brilliant. To understand the ways of alien beings is hard, and I've never worked it out why they landed in my backyard. And I've always wondered why, on their journey from the stars, these aliens stole my underpants and took them back to Mars. They came on a Monday night when the weekend wash had been done, paid out on the line to be dried by the morning sun. Mrs. Driver from next door was a witness to the scene when aliens snatched my underpants. I'm glad that they were clean. It seems that they were quite choosy, as nothing else was taken. Do aliens wear underpants or were they just mistaken? I think I have a theory as to what they wanted them for. They needed to block off a draft blowing through the spacecraft door. Or maybe some Mars museum wants items brought back from space. Just think my pair of wife fronts displayed in their own glass case. And on the label beneath would be written where they got them. And how such funny underwear once covered an earthling's bottom. There are loads of fabulous poems in here. Uh, hand gliding over active volcanoes is ace. I'm walking with my iguana is in here. I'm, I'm not allowed to do it. I've done it a few times in school and have so embarrassed my daughters um, through my performance that I'm actually, you know, I shouldn't be saying the words even in the house. I embarrass my children just by standing still. So you can imagine what it's like when dad gets out the drum and starts doing a rather poor impression of Brian Moses. Oh, torture, poor things. Anyway, you get this book and enjoy it. It's fabulous.